Hello again, we are moving on in our discussion of quadratic functions and we're going to talk about how to uh, draw the graphs of those quadratic functions. This is lesson 10.3, so let's get started. Um, we're going to go through an example together and hopefully things will become clear. Um, by examining the value of a and the axes intercepts, we're going to sketch a graph of y equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. So we've talked about um, how to find the axes intercepts, so that's going to help. Um, and we're going to use that along with the value of a. Now a is the number that's being multiplied by the x squared. Um, so in this case, that's the 2. That's bigger than 0, and anytime a is bigger than 0, we know that the parabola opens upward. Okay, we know that the y-intercept is negative 4. Uh, we can do that by replacing every x with 0, and so we would get y equals 0 minus 0 minus 4, so that's negative 4. Um, I look at the x-intercepts. Um, remember, I can graph it and see where the x-intercepts are. They are at uh, x equals negative 1 and 2, so I put some dots there. And since I know that this parabola opens upward, I can kind of draw what it looks like based on those three points. All right, now what if I have a graph instead and I need the equation? Okay, well the first thing I'm going to do is find the x-intercepts. Um, I'm going to write this equation in root form, but I won't know a yet, and a is part of root form, so I won't know what that is. So I'll use the y-intercept to find that value of a, and then I'll be able to substitute that value of a back into the equation, and I'll have it. So here's an example. Um, I know the x-intercepts there are x equals 1 and x equals 2. So what I can do is I can write my equation as y equals some value of a, I don't know what that is yet, times x minus 1 times x minus 2. I do, however, know that my value of a should be negative because this parabola opens downward. So I know the y-intercept is negative 2. So what I do is I replace every x with 0 and every y with negative 2 in that uh, magenta equation there. And what I get is that negative 2 equals a times 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 1. Um, simplifying the left-hand side gives me negative 2, nothing to simplify there, but simplifying the right-hand side gives me 2a. So if 2a is equal to negative 2, that means that a is equal to negative 1. And now I can finish writing my equation in root form, which is y equals negative 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 2. So that's uh, getting the graph from an equation and getting the equation from a graph. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.